Hey guys, I um, am a, like a daily on how I want to put up content for my story times um, and I'm not really prepared for the next few weeks but hopefully I'll get there eventually and there will should definitely be one story time video a week up and I, I'm catching up on editing and everything else so by the time 2017 is over everything should be like caught up hopefully. Anyway, today's story time. It's not a short and sweet one, it um, showcases <laughs> just how bad my luck can be because I don't have good luck and when it rains it pours. <laughs> but this one is just like, it's like funny but it's not funny because like, <laughs> it's just, it's, it's not been like a fixed yet kind of thing. So, I started learning to drive when I was 17, I was still in high school, took lessons and I ended up failing my theory test about three times um, before I, about two, and about two months into college was when I failed it for the third time and I just kind of gave up on driving, it just wasn't, like it just felt like it wasn't going to happen and it really just like it like really put me on a downer and I was like right I, I just can't do this and I was struggling with my first few months at college anyway so I was like I don't want this extra thing like making me feel not great about this next like part of the journey um so I stopped um doing driving lessons and I stopped uh booking my theory test um and I just kind of stopped trying and I didn't rebook a theory test until February this year and I passed it and I uh, then text my old instructor to be like um are you able to like take me on and take me out and stuff and he was like no um really really actually <laughs> like it, he didn't text me back in a polite manner and I just don't know if like he like he doesn't keep numbers he didn't know who I was or whatever um but it was really rude <laughs> I was like okay um, so I messaged my friend who was taking lessons and I was like, who are you with? And now, like, I can try them out. Um, so that's who I went with, like, the next day. So, still February, I went in my first lesson. Um, and it was, yeah, like, I felt, I've always really liked driving. Like, I've always felt really quite natural <laughs> when I do so. Um, so... I was like quite confident, liked it. Um, over the few months though, like I lost a lot of confidence with driving um, because of the instructor, <laughs> which is not great. But you know, you win some, you lose some. Uh, and I sat my test in August and failed because um, apparently I didn't look behind me in a manoeuvre, and I was like, but I was reversing. Of course, I was looking behind me, but it's not for me to see. Um, and I only got six minors, which made it worse because it was like, I failed because of a major. Anyway, um, I rebooked my test and like, I mean, that test I had sat in August, I booked to May. So I had waited like a while, like, like really February, August, but like May for booking out because my instructor had to see that I could drive first. Um, so I rebooked a test and managed to get one in October and I was like, that's really decent. Um, so I went out and, but then... My instructor was like, he can't do that time in the morning because it was like the first test of the day. I think it's like 8.20am. Um, and I was like, shit. And then I couldn't change the time. I didn't really want to lose the test and have to wait months. Um, so my instructor ended up saying like he would do it. Um, so we do a thing here where you go out an hour before your test um, just for a lesson. And then you go and you'll set your test. Um, so at hour 7.20 in the morning, and I am not an AM person, it is not for me. I choose the PM life. I just hate mornings. I can't do it. I can't wake up. So I'm up at the AM. I'm trying to be as awake as possible. I've been out a little bit late the night before. Um, I'd stopped drinking really early on though. Um, so I'd only had like a few... <laughs> I'd only had a few drinks the day before but I'd been out catching up with a friend um, but we'd been out late and it, so <laughs> it had a bit of an knock on effect 
I was just tired. I really shouldn't have went out the day before kind of thing, but we did think we were going to be back earlier. It was just getting a train back was a bit of a nuisance. Um, and the lesson went okay. Probably not my best, but I was like, right, as we got all the kinks out of the way, I'll be fine. And then we went and we sat in the place and we were like just waiting for the, the, the invigilator or whatever you call them, the people that come out, the testers. <laughs> um, to come out and there was two of us sitting and one guy comes out and locks the door and we're like, oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> we're just like going, that's, that's not math. Um, so the vigilator comes out and he's like, uh, which one of you guys is Jenna? And that is not me, I'm Hannah. Um, so I was like, fuck. And he was like, right, good news for the Jenna girl was that she was getting a set test that day, that was who he had, and the bad news for me was that the examiner hadn't shown up yet. And I was like, oh god. Um, and eventually they got a hold of him, like I think it took her a good like five minutes, and showing up at a different test centre was going to take him like an hour to get back, which would like brush over my test basically. Um, and my, like, we were just like, right, that's it then. Um, we'd be sitting at that day because the invigilator didn't show up. So I, I'm currently waiting to do my test still. So it's a bit of a, I was, it was 50, like I was out of pocket. Like I had paid 50 pounds, wasn't getting that back. And um, luckily like the money for the, Test like the sixty four pound for the test will just get moved to the next test, but I was like genuinely that is just like I had so many issues with this test like I think it was cursed from like the get go, but I'll get there eventually <laughs> hopefully fingers crossed like wish me luck because I think I need it like I genuinely believe it's like so cursed. Oh. Anyway, I will see you guys again next week for another story time and another story to tell. Bye!